Hi, welcome back. The problem today is about a radical equation that I have created myself. Now let's get started. We have x over 3 minus x equal to square root of x square minus 1. And on the right hand side of the equation, that's a, the exception contain the radical, the even radical, so it means it's on way greater or equal than zero. Then on the left hand side should have the same thing, then it means x will be between zero and less than three because this is the denominator it cannot equal to zero so it have to be a smaller than three and look at on the right left hand side on the right hand side sorry we have x square minus one have to write to or equal than zero then it means x is greater or equal than one or x smaller or equal to negative one and combine this with this so from one and two we will have x have to be between one and less than three this means x less than 3 and ratio or equal to 1 so that is the domain of x we have to consider as this equation now we have x over 3 minus x equal to square root of x square minus 1 so to transform a big because you can recognize that when x equal to 1 the right hand side equal to 0 but the left hand side is different than 0 so obviously 1 is not the root of the equation so we can move it to the denomination so like this and transform it into x plus x over x square minus 1 equal to 3 so in this case we have to uh, create a substitution and how we create a substitution we noted that this is and this is if we put a equal to x and b equal to x over square root of x square minus 1 then we will have a plus b equal to 3 and 1 over b 1 over a square plus 1 over b square equal to 1 so that's a, a little bit um, complicated if we combine into this and it will become the equation the system equation like is of course we still can solve this equation but it's uh, more uh, difficult than we have to turn another substitution then we go with this one we put a equal to 1 over x and b equal to square root of x square minus 1 over x then the equation will become 1 over a plus 1 over b equal to 3 
and a square plus b square equal to what? Now, this is more simpler than the previous the above system equation than this one. This one is more similar than this one. So we select this system equation. Of course, we still can show this one, but I select this one for easy to approach the method. So, and we have from the system equation, we have a plus b equal to 3ab and a plus b square minus 2ab equal to 1 and we just replace the first to the second and we will have two over three a b minus one equal to zero so you see that the second equation in the system is the very clearly is the varied equation so we can base on the formula of the varied equation to get the value of a and b a plus b would be equal to 1 over 3 plus square root of 10 over 3 or a plus b equal to 1 over 3 minus square root of 10 over 3 we have a equal to 1 over x b equal to square root of x square minus 1 over x we then a and b have to be greater than 0 it means we select this because this is negative number the sum is negative number but it cannot be the sum of two positive number so this will be reject we receive the first one from the first one i plus b equal to 1 plus square of 10 over 3 and we have a b will be equal to 1 plus 10 over 9 because this equation and we have if we in the quadratic equation we have if we have the sum of two number and the product of two number then we can set up an quadratic um, equation with these parameter like z square minus the sum of the two root and 1 over 1 plus square of 10 over 3 z plus the product of 2 root so equal to 0 then based on that we will have the value of the this equation is z will be 1 plus square root of 10 plus or minus square root of 7 minus 2 square root of 10 over 6 so do the these two number on way greater than 0 then it is satisfy the condition of a and b and we have a equal to 1 over x so it means x would be equal to 6 over 1 plus 10 
plus square of 7 minus 2 square of 10 or x equal to 6 over 1 plus square root of 10 minus square root of 7 minus 2 square root of 10 and those x value also satisfy the condition x greater or equal than 1 and smaller than 3 so we will receive these two value as well so finally we have two root of the equation as we have here so that is the solution for my problem my I created the problem myself thanks for watching see you later bye